welcome back in this lecture we will learn how you can dynamically apply CSS and style element using Vue.js so in our app I have linked to Tailwind CSS and what is Tailwind it is a utility for CSS framework for rapid UI development So in here you can use text transparent, text black, text gray, like classes to add style to your text. There's also lots of classes to apply to your element using Tailwind. This is the one I like so I use it in our example and if you like bootstrap you can use that as well. So let's go back to our example. Okay so this is our link to Tailwind CSS and down here we have app and in our app I have p tag with error found as a text and class is text red which is giving style color red to this error found p tag and p2 will give some padding to this text and in our JavaScript we have new view instance which is targeted to this app and in our data I have has error true so how can I apply this text red class dynamically based on this has error property for this we will use binding like this or I can just simply use colon now let me remove fading for now okay now I want to add text red class based on this property hash error so for this I will use curly braces then my class which is text red then colon then property which should be boolean so here we will use error so we bind class equals to quotation marks then curly braces then class name colon boolean property and in here we have hash error boolean true so it will give text red now run it and if we inspect this We have class text red and if I change it to false I don't have any class and if I make it true instead of red I give it green now run and as you can see we got green tracks and our class is text green so this is simple example how you can dynamically apply classes to your element now next thing is how can I apply multiple classes for this you just have to do is add comma so if I do let me just turn it back to red and in here I will use class BG green for applying green background and property will be is active in here my both properties has error and is active is true and now if I run this I get this green background with red text and if I just turn it to false and run now we are only getting red text let me prove that text red let's go back to true we have text red and bg green now binding these classes like this may make our element lengthy as you can see here instead we can use an object so in our data and now if I run these I'm getting same result let's check that text red bg green let's change it to false not this one this time let's check with text yeah it is working perfect now let's say yes I want this classes text and background but 
I also want some padding by default to this paragraph text. So how can I do that? For this, you can also use this class attribute. You just will merge these two classes and apply class to that element. Just like this, P2 BG Green. So this class will be applied to element no matter what we have in object. And one more thing, this class's object can be also a complete property. So if you have a scenario where you want to use complete property instead of data, you can use that as well. Now next thing I want to show you is using arrays. Now let's say I don't have an object. I have hash error but it doesn't contain boolean value, it contains an actual class. So hash error will have text read as error class and is active will have text green as a class and in here I will use array for classes so my first class will be hash error and second will be is active and now if I run this oops it should be bg green okay now it is working perfectly fine so what's happening our hash error class is given to this p element or bg green class is also given to this p element and that's why we are getting this green background and red text and if i change hash error class to let's say orange we are getting orange but it is not looking quite good let's try blue yeah it is working and instead of green let me check for gray yeah so this is how you can also apply classes using arrays and again this can be complete property instead of data